What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today we guys a video on how to create attractive thumbnails for your uh, videos pretty much, and uh, for this you guys are going to need Photoshop, and this is pretty much all I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my styles, but uh, you guys can download my 3000 subscriber style pack, this will be in the description, or you guys can just watch the tutorial and see how I make them and see the settings and everything like that. So uh, right now is what I mocked up in the last attempt of this, and uh, this is pretty much what we're going to be making. It's super, excuse me, easy and uh, it's really effective. So uh... Just keep watching this. At the end of the video, I will explain some more stuff, and uh, you guys will enjoy this. So uh, what I want to do is just start off on a plain 1280 by 720 plain black, and then use a image in the background. So uh, let's just say that you're making a video for, let's say, uh, CS:GO or Call of Duty. You want to take a Call of Duty picture and then put it in here. If you guys are doing it, let's just say on skateboarding, skiing, snowboarding, uh, lacrosse, or anything really uh, you guys are need something something that does with your, that goes with the topic of your video so uh, what I did is I found a Rolls-Royce uh, picture of the, like, the Phantom and then I just going to use this instead so uh, what we want to do is just right click your image and then paste it into your document so sometimes the image is a little bit bigger than your actual image or actual document so what I want to do is just shrink it up just like this and then kind of make it the same width and height just center wherever you want alright so now you have that next thing you want to do is go to image adjustments and make it black and white and then just lower the opacity to like 20 percent and hit ok so uh, the next step of this is actually making a border around your image so you guys can just label this image in background let's just start labeling all our layers to get into the habit of that so uh, make a new layer and then double click this this layer this uh, border so for this border what you're going to want to do is take uh, there's two ways you can do this you guys can just duplicate this layer or you guys can do it yourself what I'm going to do is show you the easy way if you duplicate your background layer and then take the fill all the way down and then right click go to blending options go to stroke and put the stroke on the inside it does it itself of making the border and then you can put it to like 10 and then just put the opacity all the way up so it's like 100% alright after that actually I'm gonna put that a little bit up more maybe like 15 actually 20 is good because you're gonna be blurring it so 20 and then make a new layer and then merge these two and then you can just delete your original layer and then make this called border so next after that what we want to do is go to uh, filter blur and then go to excuse me Gaussian blur and then just put it to like five pixels and then take your fill and put it down to like ten and hit OK. So now that you have your border and then you have your picture. So uh, next thing you want to do is add color. So what you're gonna do is go on click onto your image again and hit a new layer and call this uh two spots and then what you want to do is make two spots of different colors so you want to take a brush on the size of like one let's just say uh, 160 and then put the hardness on zero and then go to your color picker and then put it to like a nice color I'm going to be using color blue because blue's a nice color to use I guess and just like click one in the bottom right hand corner and one in the top left hand corner and then just take the opacity and lower it down to about like 40 alright so now you have that. So uh, you want to add another a color here because it's just too plain. What you want to do is go onto your background layer, hit a new layer, and then just color this in gently like this. All right, and then lower the opacity. So it's just like a nice blue fade on the background that increases this. So uh, now that you have pretty much your background, this is when you want to start wanting to add other stuff within it. So if I go to my YouTube channel, I have an example right here of what I did. I added uh, boxes, my pretty much my what's it called uh, software I use, and then my text. So uh, we're gonna be doing the text, probably not last, but not right now. We're gonna do uh, softwares or games or something. So uh, a nice thing to do is go in the top and then make a new layer, and just label this sidebar. So the sidebar is what we're gonna be adding right here, and just make a rectangle like this, pretty much this size. Maybe even a little smaller. Just move it over, right here on the side, and uh, you can pretty much go and put this to screen, and then lower the opacity to about 15 ish. 15 is good. All right, and then you can just pretty much mess where you want to put this. I'm gonna you can put this behind the image. I'm gonna put this above the, everything except for the border. 
All right, so now that you have that, you guys can add your games or something. So uh, some people play or use a lot of softwares in their videos, a lot of, play a lot of games. So this is pretty much where you want to put all your stuff. I'm going to be using the Adobe Photoshop uh, logo. So if you just drag this in and then make it smaller so it fits the bottom. Oops. Pretty much you want to do this. And then kind of just place it in the middle and then bring it in the bottom. So uh, that just pretty much signifies what software we're using. So let's say you're playing a game and you guys need to add your game or whatever. Uh, you can go to like this and go to like, excuse me, uh, Black Ops 3 logo. Put it to like a PNG. So always do look for PNGs because PNGs are the, uh, the ones with no background. So you guys can take this, save the image as, and then reopen it in Photoshop. And then just drag it in and pretty much do the same thing. Just place it on the side of the sidebar just to signify what you're doing. So you guys get the idea. Delete that. So uh, now that you have that, you want to add just background effects now. So what I want to do is just take this, label, I'll just label this uh, app, and then pretty much go under your sidebar and then label this uh, squares. So uh, this is pretty much where you're going to take your blue color and just make squares all around your uh, your thing. But um, I'm actually not going to do this right now. I stand correct. I'm going to do the text first. So what you want to do is go to your text tool and then go to your fonts. And if you guys don't have any nice bold fonts, a nice website that has uh, a really big selection of fonts is called uh, defont.com. And I like going to the basic section right here, and this is where I find all my big fonts so like this. So uh, the font we're going to be using is called Keep Calm, and uh, this is the font that's using the Keep Calm and Carry On uh, advertisements and posters and stuff. So uh, the first word you're going to type in is pretty much whatever. Let's just type in tutorial, and uh, any color will do, and just kind of place it in the top middle, and then type in your next set of words. Let's just say. Uh, template for you and then drag up and across so you see how this is a little too big what you can do is actually just hit control T and make the size a bit smaller all right and then you can duplicate that and bring that in the bottom and type in like free and then drag it to the side so you have tutorial template for you and then free all right and now you want to add your layer style onto it and uh, make sure these are centered or close to centered. So uh, this is the layer style I'm going to be using. I got this for my 300,000 subscribers. <laughs> I wish I had 300,000 subscribers. My 3,000 subscriber pack. If you guys don't have this, please check the description and download it. It'll, everything I'll talk about will probably be there. So uh, now that you have that, I just added the thing on. If you guys don't have uh, good enough internet to download it, here's the gradient section. It's a white to gray to white and then 104 scale. The drop shadow is 68 opacity, 6 on distance, and then a 9 spread. And then for the inner glow, there's 42% and a uh, 1 size and 1 range, and it's on overlay. So you have that. So uh, now that you have your text, you pretty much want to go back to your squares and then just post them back up. And then you just pretty much just make squares around stuff. And uh, you can, guys can put this above your text so it kind of just drops on like this. It goes on and above. And you pretty much want to add squares all around your uh, all around your thumbnail. Alright, so now that you have enough squares to pretty much satisfy yourself, what you want to do is just right click on the uh, the layer and put it to like screen. So a screen makes it a little see-through that you guys can mess with, the, mess with this and then you can put the opacity down and turn it up and then mess around with that. So let's just say you put the opacity to 40%. Alright, so you have your 40% opacity and you have your little squares. So uh, let's go back to my little example. This is pretty much what I did for this and uh, I added stuff here to pretty much cancel out the negative space. You guys can also uh, change stuff. But let's just say that you make this and you're doing a uh, tutorial or you're making a video on like a crazy kill feed or a crazy 
let's just say a crazy money win or a crazy template you did or crazy banner crazy something what you want to do is just just yeah let's just say that you're using a uh, header you can just drag it in and then resize it so it fits and then what I do is I take it and put it in the center and then just put it in the middle like this and then I go right click blending options put on a drop shadow of a, like a 40 multiply or 40 opacity and then I go on the stroke and put it on a one of a white color and put the opacity down like 50 or actually lower like 20 all right and then that's that but um, I'm not going to do that for you guys because I'm going to be releasing this to you guys. So uh, then you guys have this and uh, pretty much that's all I really do. And you guys can add other stuff. Uh, pretty much this is all open to you. If you want to add more kind of glares, you guys can make a brush size on like a thousand. See, that's a little too big. Maybe 900. And then put it to white. So if you zoom out, you click in the top right here so it just drops down in the middle. And then you can type this like white glare and put this opacity down to like 15%. All right, and then you guys can uh, make a new layer above that and label this white block edges. All right, and then you guys can take like, a white rectangle, put it here, lower the opacity to like 20%. Uh, rasterize it. And take your eraser and kind of erase the sides like this. Duplicate it. Go like that and then just pretty much drag and drop it so it's even. And then just make it smaller so it's a gradual step down. And uh, that's about it. So you guys can do other stuff to this. There's pretty much you can't, you aren't like set to doing one thing. And uh, there's a remarkable things that you guys can do to make this look better. You can add uh, like strokes. You guys can go like this. And then put like a uh, put a nice brush on it. Let's just put like a stroke. Oops. Three. You can like stroke the path, and then put this color to go to color over color overlay, and change the color to like a blue. And then like put it on screen as well. And then take your eraser and just kind of erase a little bit of it like that. And then you can duplicate it and then flip it 100%, 180% or degrees and put it there. And then you guys have your own template for your tutorials. So uh, how many minutes am I at? 13 minutes. So a cool thing about having this and uh, pretty much doing this yourself you guys can actually customize this 100% fully and uh, that you labeled everything it's a lot easier so a nice thing I like doing is taking all your text and putting them into a own group so if you hit control G it adds a group and this label this like text alright and then you guys can put like all these in the bottom ones on a group label this bottom do you right here the same alright so you have top, text, bottom, and then you guys can even just lock these and uh, change your text. So you guys open your text and then it's fully changeable right here and it's even nicer. So uh, color changing is pretty difficult. You have to do this either if you guys don't have any gradients on it or any uh, any like different colors. What you can do is actually click right here in the uh, bottom and it's like a half circle, half uh, black, half white, and then go to a hue and saturation. And this pretty much controls the color and uh, it's really nice to use and it's really interesting so uh, the only problem with this is this right here the bottom left hand corner the Photoshop logo will change excuse me unless you take uh, you just take it out so you can just like take that oops let me unlock this take that put it above relock it so you have your hue and saturation and then you double click the half circle and then you guys can pretty much change this all yourself so uh it's really nice and really customizable. So uh, I made this for you guys. So if you want this, 50 likes, and I will release this in the description. 
and uh, pretty much this is on my channel. This will be uploaded to Tutorial Hub. So if you're watching this on Tutorial Hub, thank you so much because you guys are helping out the channel tremendously. And uh, if you guys are watching this before the channel even launches, please go check out the channel. There will be a little circle in the top right hand corner. And if you click that, it will bring you to the channel to subscribe and you'll pretty much be enlisted in all our newest videos and everything that's going on. So uh, 50 likes and I'll release this to the public. And if you guys want, you guys can go buy this on my cell fi I will have a, uh, a link into the description as well. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. If you have any tutorial suggestions, let me know in the comments below or even email me. You can email me at my email. It's on my channel in the About Me section or you can email me at tutorialhubbusiness at gmail.com and I'll answer either both one of those and we have more than one person working the email. So if you guys don't get it from me, you guys can request me or you guys can even just uh, wait a little bit and my friend will tell me and then I'll do it myself. So uh, that's enough talking. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to subscribe to me and the Tutorial Hub channel. And if you guys want any specific tutorials, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, that's about it. So peace out.